An alert now for parents and caregivers when it comes to protecting your children on social media. Charlotte Mecklenburg Police tell WBTV investigators are seeing an alarming rise in what's called sextortion. Your children being tricked into sharing nude photos or videos online and then threatened that those images will be shared, in some cases scammed into sending the criminals money. WBTV's Caroline Hicks is on your side with what you need to know. She joins us now live in the studio. Caroline, so many parents are worried about this. Absolutely, and it's not always an easy subject to talk about, but the numbers don't lie. The FBI is reporting a 600% increase in sextortion cases here in North Carolina. One lawmaker in South Carolina believes awareness can save lives. He knows from firsthand experience how quickly sextortion can take a life. Right now, as we stand here, there are predators online trying to access your children. CMPD received 98 cyber tips of sextortion in 2016. By 2019, that number rose to 414. And by 2022, that number hit 724. Parents are the first line of defense. When you're talking about sharing passwords and usernames with apps, this is not a privacy issue with your child. This is a safety issue. And law enforcement agents say you need to know what your kids are doing online. We'll go down their contact list and say, who is that, who is that, who is that, who is that? In South Carolina, a new law known as Gavin's Law makes sextortion a crime, punishable by 20 years in prison when involving a minor. Uh, Representative I Brandon Guffey that. introduced the legislation in memory of his 17-year-old son. Gavin was living his best life. He wasn't depressed. And yet. Gavin started getting extorted around midnight. Um, and by 140, he had taken his life. He wants you to know these criminals are professionals. They pretend to be a girl from another school or they have mutual friends. Um, start chatting, complimenting. One minute you think you're sharing photos or videos with someone you trust and the next. They recorded the information on another device and then immediately started blackmailing him for money. Gavin's law will mean harsher punishments and also awareness. What do you hope Gavin's law will do in South Carolina and maybe even across the country? My goal is to ensure that this has not happened to another child. And I've got to start with the state of South Carolina. Just a heartbreaking story. And Guffey says an important part of Gavin's law is requiring every school district to educate students on sextortion. He hopes the more students, parents and caregivers know what to look out for, the more they can stop this from happening and save lives. Reporting live in the studio, Caroline Hicks, WBTV on your side.